Hey, hey everyone. Today I want to show you a really handy function in Excel called the filter function. Now what this function does is it goes through large data sets or tables of information and just pulls out that information or the fields that you want to see based on the conditions that you have. So for example here, I've got a, a membership list and what I wanted to pull out was all the people whose last name was Adams. And you can see it's pulled out the seven names there. Now if I change this from Adams to say Hill, it'll update this list and bring back all the people whose last name was Hill. Now I've also got some other more advanced ones and this is a filter where there's two conditions met with an and. So what I'm doing is everyone filtering this list based on anyone whose minimum age is 24 and their maximum age is 30. So anyone who's in between those two ages and you can see it's put that on the side here. Now again if I change this say from 49 to 50 now it's brought back everyone whose age is, is either 49 or 50 or between 49 and 50. Now the other function where you can sort of expand on the filter function is the or. So it's very similar to and, but it's not one age and this name, it's where both conditions have to meet, be met. It's more about if one or the other condition is met. So in this example, I'm again filtering through this list for everyone whose age is 35 or their last name is Cruz. And this has come up, so you can see we've got a couple of Cruises in this list, or we've got a couple of people with other last names, but they've got an age of 35. So you can change this again to 35 and maybe the last name of Hill, and it's brought all those people back who has an age of 35, or their last name is Hill. And the very final one, which is a really, really handy one, is where we've got uh, a contains part, as part of the form, formula or the filter formula. So we can see here that we have uh, the list again, and we want to get everyone who is from the state of Ohio. But in this list, there is no state. We've only got the city where it's got the city, comma, and then the state. So we're gonna say anything that has Ohio as part of the condition of the column D, which is the city name. So again, if I change this to say California, or even just part of the word California, it's gonna bring back all the people's names where part of that column D or the city has Califor or Califo in the name. So it's a really handy function. Let's get started and I'll show you how to go through each of these different examples. Now please note, when I do go through these videos, I do do it very quickly. So just feel free to pause or rewind if you need to go back and go through it. I just would rather do that than drag the videos on. Also, just to let you know, this is a newer function in Excel, so it might not work in previous or earlier editions of Excel. Uh, if it isn't quite in your Excel 365, please be patient, it's probably going to appear at some time in the future. So let's get started by deleting the old formulas. And we'll do this one where we're going to filter this table by the last name of what we've got in cell H1. So let's start that, equals filter. The array is the table. Now you can select the whole table itself, or if your data's tidy like mine is, you can just select the whole, all the columns. So I'm selecting my data that I'm going to filter, comma, and I want to include all the last names. So I'm going to select column C. So anything from column C where the last name equals H1, which is where I've got Hill. And you can put in comma, and this is where you put something that comes up if nothing appears. So I'm just going to type in the word nothing and close the brackets. And now you can see that it's appeared here. Now again, if I change the name, Adams or King, it'll just change. And if you don't do anything and it's got nothing, it can't find anything, it'll just come up with nothing. Okay, so let's move on to the second example. And this is where we have more than one condition in the filter function. We're only going to use two in this example, where the minimum age is 49 and above and the maximum age is 50 and below. So let's delete this and start the function. Equals filter, open brackets. Again, we're going to select the same cells to reference, comma. And because we're doing more than one, we'll have to use open brackets to put each of those conditions in. So in this instance, the first one is column E, where it is bigger than or equal to h1 close the brackets 
And to do multiple, you have to use the multiplication sign, which is the star, open brackets again. And the second condition is column E is smaller than or equal to H2. Close the brackets, put in the comma, and now if it's empty and the, these conditions can't be met, we'll type in the word nothing again. Close the brackets, and there you go. You can see that it's brought back anyone who is 49 or above or 50 and below. And again, we can just change this. Let's just change it to maybe 47 to 50, and that list is expanded. Okay, the next example is the filter or function. So instead of both conditions being met, one or the other condition has to be met. So let's just delete this out of here. Let's do the formula again. Equals filter, open brackets. What's our array? We're going to select the columns, comma. And now we want to include, and again, we're going to have to use those brackets because we're using more than one filter. So in this instance, we're looking at the age, so column E, to equal this time H1. Or, and to use or, you have to use the plus symbol. So there you go, plus, open bracket again, that the last name or column C equals, in this instance, H2. Close the bracket, just like we did before. If nothing appears, we're going to type in the word nothing. And when I say nothing appears, it means that either of those conditions couldn't be met. None of them could. So let's press enter there. And you can see that's changed. There's got all the people, their name, last name is Hill, or if their last name isn't Hill, their age could be 35. So let's just change that to hill, maybe change it to 50. So again, it brought back all the hills or people whose last name is 50, or their, la their age is 50. Okay. Okay, so let's move into the final example, which is a very handy one. And this is where we're going to have to combine a couple of formula in Excel to get what we need. In this example, we're going to go through the column of D, which has the city and the state, but we only want to search the state and bring back everything where that state appears. So let's get started with the formula and just uh, delete what we have there already and we'll type it in so equals filter in this instance again we're going to select the same array comma and this time instead of include we're just going to start typing things in we're going to embed a new formula in there which is the is number formula open brackets nest in there the search formula so what we're going to do is we're going to search the text of H1, comma, and we're going to search for that within column D. Close the brackets, close the brackets again. Now what that is doing is it's checking if it's true or false, whether that word in column in H2 matches something in column D. Press the comma again, and if it's empty, we'll type in the word nothing. Close the brackets. And you can see it's brought back everything with, in this instance, Califo. So we'll change that again, and maybe we'll put in HAW for Hawaii. And you can see it's brought back all the ones from Hawaii. So again, it's a very handy little formula. I'll just click it again because it's a little bit more of a com complicated one. But there you go. Really handy formula to use. Hope you use it wisely. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe. Click that like button. See you next time.